Question 40. A table of future value interest factors for an annuity of $1 is shown. Simone deposits $1,000 into a savings account at the end of each year for 8 years. The interest rate for these 8 years is 0.75% per annum, compounded annually. After the 8th deposit, Simone stops making deposits but leaves the money in the savings account. The money in her savings account then earns an interest at 1.25% per annum, compounded annually, for a further 2 years. Find the amount of money in Simone's savings account at the end of 10 years. The solution is split into two parts. In the first part, we'll determine the amount of money in the account at the end of 8 years using the table of future value interest factors. The result of which is fed into the second part of the solution, which uses the future value formula to find the value in the account at the end of 10 years. So in the first 8 years, there are 8 deposits made at 0.75% per annum compounded annually. So the correct future value interest factor is 8.2132. So row 8 and column 0.75%. So the amount of money at the end of 8 years is 8.2132 multiplied by 1000 since that's the value of Simone's contribution and that equals $8,213.20. Now the amount of money at the end of 10 years, we have n equals 2, since it's 2 more years after the 8 years. The present value is taken from the result of the first part of the solution, which is $8,213.20. So that's how much Simone has in the account at the start of the 2 years, where she's not making any deposits. And the interest rate per annum is 1.25%. So the future value is equal to $8,213.20 multiplied by 1 plus 1.25 percent or raised to the power of 2 and that equals 8,419.8133 and so on. So rounding that to two decimal places, Simone will have $8,419.81 in her savings account at the end of 10 years.